Nui Lepo told Judge Liebenberg that they briefed Hansa Yumara in December 2014 about the criteria used to identify beneficiaries and to discuss logistical issues around the scheduled handover ceremony. It was in that meeting, Nui Lepo says, that Hansa Yumara raised concern over not having been involved in the selection of beneficiaries. Hanse Imara then suggested that Justina Goasses and Christiana Hanse be added to the list and that Pete Fransman and Regina Pullman be removed as we're actively campaigning against the Swapo party. Acting Director of Housing in the Ministry, Meru Taniseb and former Special Advisor Gabriel Castro are said to have explained to Hanse Imara that the same criteria was used in other towns including Volvos Bay and Oshakati, while no politician is allowed to be party to that process. In his testimony, Nui Lopo said Hansa Imara refused to accept their advice and instead threatened to cancel the handover ceremony altogether. They eventually gave up and were instructed to make the changes. The way that the program was introduced, it, it was, uh, you know, the, there were no, uh, it, 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 it's, it's a program that was mainly run from the ministry. And um, I will put it that, uh, you know, the, as the governor, as the political head of the region, can can uh, ask my office or the mayor to go and uh, give a, a report as to how that the progress of the program. But uh, you know, I, whether she should be directly involved in the in the program. Um, afterwards, it, it it came clear that she was not supposed to be directly involved in the program. Both Fransman and Pullman were later notified of the changes to the list and were offered to other houses which were still under construction. In a testimony, Hansa Imara insisted that both Hansa and Goasas were in dire need of housing and given their physical constraints, they were priority cases. However, Nguilepo told Judge Liebenberg that neither Hansa nor Goasas had any physical challenges as Hansa and Imara had claimed. Nguilepo also stated that Hansa Imara had been scrutinizing the identities of people she did not know, demanding to know why they were on the beneficiaries list for reasons known only to her. Hansa Imara denies any wrongdoing and pleaded not guilty to the charges at the start of her trial. The trial continues.